Welcome back car people. I'm Kevin from Stream Cars. Welcome to the channel and another day in the life of a car trader. The first day we've had some sunshine in a long time. Been waiting for this day to go and collect this car, an Aston Martin DBS. So we're gonna get on the road and I'll tell you a little bit about it on the way. We're on our way now then. M3, M25, M4 is the route. We're going to GVE London. If any of you have heard of that, or even if you haven't, they're a very prestigious car dealer on the outskirts of Heathrow in a place called Uxbridge. We'll do a showroom tour when we're there. I'll show you the cars that they have, some really fabulous examples, Bugattis, Ferraris, Lamborghinis. I mean, a dream to see some of these cars in the metal. A bit of backstory on the DVS that I'm buying. It was a part exchange into them. We were talking about this back at the beginning of the year and the guy that was part exchanging the car wanted to buy a McLaren from them. They actually sold the car that he was interested in. So it took a while for them to source another. Now that they have, the car's come into them and I've been waiting for a dry day to go and collect it. It is absolutely pristine, machine polished, covered in PPF, and I really didn't want to drive it on a wet road. So we're gonna get over there, see the car, I'll walk around it, I'll show you a little bit about what to look for when you're buying Aston Martins and uh, the showroom tour, and um, hopefully you'll enjoy. So we'll see you there. Just arrived, we're at the back entrance, the servicing bay and where they do all the valeting. Even the cars out here are stunning. Look at this turbo, finished in some sort of wrap. I reckon there's over a million quid's worth of cars just out here on its own. I can see my one in the doorway there. We're gonna go in, get the paperwork sorted and then I'll do your showroom tour and we'll go around the car. Right, this is the paperwork. Uh, V5 is here. I've covered up the owner's previous owner's name for privacy purposes, but it's a five owner car. The leather bound service book is here with all the stamps. This is the current MOT. Uh, cars cover 61,000 miles. MOT in December, so a full MOT, no advisors through until December 23 two glass keys, which is lovely. And how about this for a bill? The last service work carried out was an eight beer service, supplied and fitted a new replacement clutch, crankshaft, swig bearing, etc. Uh, near side headlight modular inoperative, handbrake cable, something sorted out on that, a new engine dipstick, engine drive belt, idler pulleys and tension, and new bonnet supports. So who was the guess what that little lot has come to? There you go, seven grand, Aston Martin tax. Not cheap running one of these cars, but everything has been done on this, so I'm saying that for the next 12 months, at least, you've got some free motoring. Let's go and have a look at the car. This is us in the showroom then, and what a wonderful collection of cars they've got here. There must be an excess of 25 million pounds on the shop floor here. We've got this Bugatti Veyron 2006 car, that's priced at just under a million pounds. Everything's packed in so tightly, so it's hard to get around and give you a good view, but we've got a really beautiful GT2 RS Porsche. This is an SF90, one of two cars they have here the other one just across there behind this green i think that's possibly an f12 uh, this lexus here let me just back up and show you this lexus lfa this is a lovely bit of kit they're a lot of money now uh, this is a little bit over a million pounds we've got the other sf90 here 488 pista another ferrari this is uh, something I think it's probably an F12 Spider. Not fully up to speed on all the different versions. There's uh, Rosso Creamer Edition. That's the colour that everyone wants. Come around here. 
we've got another 488 and an SF90 Spider over in the corner there. I think they're asking a little under half a million quid for that. Now we've got a really special Ferrari Enzo here. This is one of, I believe, only 10 cars that have the Michael Schumacher signature on the dashboard. Let's see if we can get in and show you that signature. With the, with, the with the reflection you'll be able to see it but somewhere in there is Michael Schumacher signature and this car is priced at two and a half million quid next door to it Lamborghini Aventador another Aventador this has caught my eye over here McLaren 620R so this is a racing edition car with some adornments like the rear spoiler and the roof scoop 765 lt stunning bit of kit this is i mean almost formula one car type speeds on the road three and three hundred and fifty thousand pounds for that loving the volcano orange 570 i'll be having one of those in stock one day for sure we've got another quartet of Lamborghinis this is their cheapest car in the showroom this is a Lamborghini Huracan about £140,000 I believe Huracan Spider and then this is an interesting colour this is a, an ice blue matte wrap with kind of a toffee colour interior I mean you wouldn't put these two together would you but you know I think it works Let's come round here. Look at the Aston Martins that they have here. Now, the you know I've got the DBS, which to me is a wonderful car. This is something a bit special. This is a Zagato. You won't have seen many of these around. This has got the estate back on it, and this is. I'm going to have a look at the price of this in the window. That is going to be very expensive. Yeah, just a little over half a million. This is a Vantage GT edition, special edition race car. Another Zagato here, not terribly keen on the color, purple and gold, but eh, somebody bought it, somebody likes it. Now we've got another McLaren, and in the corner here, tucked away, another McLaren with a matte black paint job. This one, a mere 200,000 pounds. So as you can see, they've got some wonderful kit in here. This amounts to about 25 million pounds, I would say. If you're interested, hook them up, GVE London. I'd rather you call me, but of course I don't have this level of stock. But if you are in the market for a supercar, it's supercar season very shortly, the sun is out, and I'm sure any of these would be, love, be, be delighted to grace any collection. This is the car then, Aston Martin 5.9 litre DBS. The car that was the successor to the Aston Martin DB9 and used, introduced to us in the James Bond movie Casino Royale and then following that, I want to say um, Quantum of Solace. I may have to recheck my facts on that. Uh, this car is a 2008-2009 model. 60,000 miles and they've even kindly left the v12 number plate on it so that's a bonus for whoever ends up buying it now when you're looking at buying a car an aston martin particularly we always look for common issues with aston martins which is condensation in the headlights this car has none of those in fact the previous owner has covered the car almost entirely in ppf I have noticed that these grills are a little bit faded, so I shall be getting them improved and make them look a little bit darker. The next thing I look for is corrosion around the wheel arches and around the side strakes here, on the wing mirror arms and around the door handles. That's a very common issue on lots of Aston Martin Vantages, DB9s and, 
and the early era cars. Uh, wing, uh, not wing mirrors, wiper arms as well can suffer from that. And I did buy an Aston Martin Vantage once that had a problem with the windscreen wiper motor. The, the wipers sort of did that action. I thought, well, that's not going to be expensive, is it? A new wiper motor? Well, it's an engine out job to get to the underneath of the scuttle on the dashboard to get to the wiper motor. So that's a, a mistake that can be very, very costly. The wheels on this car are immaculate. They're 20 inch. The nice thing is that they've been recently shod with Pirelli tires, the correct ones for the car, and the, the, the detail that they've even got these Aston Martin end caps. The carbon fiber around here extends to the under bonnet and in the boot. Another immaculate wheel, carbon ceramic brake discs. The stopping power from that is phenomenal. Let's come around the back of the car. This car's got the clear rear lenses as opposed to the red ones. That's a much more attractive option. Lots of carbon fiber here with the rear diffuser. Again, an area of concern that I look for is condensation in the rear lights. A new rear tail lamp is in the region of, I want to say 1200 pounds if you order it from Aston Martin. Let's come down the near side. Again, the car is flawless. In the sun, I pulled it into the corner here in the shade, there was too much reflection. The paintwork is absolutely stunning. It's storm black metallic. It's got a really, really lovely fleck in it. Really beautiful. Coming down the near side, again, the car is flawless. No corrosion. Again, front wheel, no curb marks. Brand new tires all round. One mark I did see on the front carbon fibre on the corner of the splitter around the front here. I think all, all that is is the PPF and maybe a little bit of water has got underneath it, but you can't fault the car for that, can you? We've got two glass keys with it. Here's another thing. These glass keys, they cost over a thousand pounds to replace. If you crack the end of this glass, that gets terribly expensive. There is an option for that. But at Aston Martin, you'll be paying over a thousand pounds for a new key. Shall we start her up? Just want to have a look at the interior. We've got carbon fiber on the top of the door, carbon fiber handle, Alcantara, and obsidian black leather. That that really, really chunky, heavy V12 manual gear stick. This is what makes this car particularly special. It's a manual and very desirable and sought after. Let's start her up. Okay, this is me back at Stream Cars HQ. I just wanted to add a little bit to the video while I remember. The car drives perfectly. The steering is light, the clutch is light. There's the lovely V12 
V12 sonorous exhaust and a little bit of exhaust uh, rumble on the overrun. It is a really, really lovely car internally and externally. What I thought was funny and worthy of mention, I put uh, 60 pounds worth of super unleaded in it shortly after leaving GVE and there were a couple of lads in the garage in an M3 and they came over and asked if I was Daniel Craig. So that was funny. Uh, anyone else that's been to my property, they'll know that you have to cross a dual carriageway to get to it. And in busy times, it can be a little bit arduous to try and poke your nose out into the traffic. Well, I pulled up in the gap in this and literally the third car along stopped and let me past. So there you go, Aston Martin drivers, you'll know what I'm talking about. This is one for you. And with that gear stick, you've got the best car in the Aston Martin range. Right, see you guys later.